Welcome to the part 8 of Villain, the school beauty's plot. If you encounter any issues or have feedback, please let me know in the comments. Enjoy the content. Chapter 191, Part 1. Lifespan plus 1. Lifespan plus 1. Lifespan plus 1. It, accompanied by hundreds of Ing Shou fruit, it enters the belly for refining. In an instant, Chen Beiyuan gained a hundred years of lifespan. Such a luxurious way to extend life without any side effects is enough to drive countless people crazy. That's a lifespan of an entire era. No one would dislike having more lifespan and living longer. Especially those high-ranking and powerful people who almost wish they could live forever. Even though Chin Beiyuan is only 18 years old now and is still in his youth, he will not dislike that he can live for hundreds more years. However, when he took the 101 Ing Shou fruit, he could clearly feel that the life-extending effect was significantly weakened. Lifespan plus 0.5. Chen Beiyuan frowned slightly and looked at the attribute template in front of him with a faint look. He seemed a little surprised, but also somewhat expected, and murmured to himself, After a hundred years of longevity, the effect of Ing Shogua has begun to show signs of diminishing? Is it because I took too much Ing Shogua, causing attracting antibodies to be produced in my body? Or is it because of something else? That's right. Prolonging life and increasing lifespan are defying the heavens and changing fate. There is no so-called fruit of immortality in this world. Otherwise, you only need to guard one, Ing Shou sacred tree, and harvest it every few hundred years. Isn't it possible to live forever? However, Ing Shou fruit can prolong life and increase lifespan without any side effects. The effect gradually fades until one century of life extension. It should be called a miracle fruit, and it is much better than other life-extending methods. There are still 478 Ing Shou fruits left in front of him. Chin Beiyuan predicts that if he swallows them all, even if the effect will fade, there will still be no problem for another 200 years of lifespan. However, after all, it is still too wasteful to maximize benefits. Normally speaking, the 6th grade will fight the king's lifespan of 150, the 7th grade will fight the emperor's lifespan of 300, and the 8th grade will fight the emperor's lifespan of 500. Due to my incomplete 9th grade practice of the prison suppressing demonic scripture and the absorption of the blood essence of the BLO asterisk DY dragon emperor, although I am a 6th grade war king, my lifespan is comparable to that of a 7th grade war king. Coupled with the one era lifespan blessing of 101 Ing Shou fruit, its real lifespan has reached 400 years. If he waits to break through to the 7th grade war emperor, his lifespan will probably be even more terrifying than that of the ordinary 8th grade war emperor. If the next plan is successful, these two towering sacred trees will be in my possession. There will naturally be a steady stream of sacred fruits harvested in the future, but there is no need to rush. Chen Beiyuan thought to himself, and seemed to have made a decision in his heart. The remaining 478 Ing Shou fruits are equivalent to 478 years of lifespan if handled properly. Those who are short-sighted only plan for a short time, while those who are long-term plan for the whole life. He still has great use for these remaining Ing Shou fruit. After storing the remaining Ing Shou fruit in the system space, Chen Beiyuan then looked at the marrow cleansing fruit, piled up into a hill in front of him, with a total of 268 pieces. He is originally the number one talent in the original novel. He has the qualifications of the god of war. If he further improves his qualifications and understanding, who knows how terrifying he can reach. From the beginning to the end, what he values most is the marrow cleansing fruit that improves his qualifications and understanding and refines his blood. In comparison, extending life and improving lifespans, Ing Shou Gua, need to be ranked second. It's really exciting. Chun Beiyuan's eyes flashed with a strange light, and with the surge of demonic thoughts, marrow cleansing fruit, suspended one by one and began to fall into his mouth, melting instantly and turning into the power of mysterious rules. In just a few breaths, the mountain of marrow cleansing fruit in front of me was reduced by half. In an instant, Chun Beiyuan fell into a special mysterious state. The whole person seemed to have turned back into a fetus, returned to the mother's womb, and was gestating and growing again. My own qualifications and understanding also underwent a terrifying transformation at this moment. This state is even more terrifying and domineering than taking Wu Dao pill before. Even Chen Beiyuan adheres to his original intention with the Zhuang Dao Jing, enters the Zhuang state, and merges with the world, intending to maintain the last trace of sanity. But under the overbearing influence of marrow cleansing fruit, his last remaining sanity instantly exited the state of oblivion and fell into endless sinking. After that, Chen Beiyuan was like a prophet of the unknown, and handed over the places where opportunities occurred in various places in the void secret realm to Bai Ruowei and Jiang Yunhua. As a result, the two women received many opportunities, their strength skyrocketed, and they even came to two towering sacred trees in the depths of the Ten Thousand Beasts forest in advance. The action of squatting in front of him undoubtedly further aroused the curiosity of the mysterious weapon spirit. 
When Shan Beiyuan suspected of discovering her existence in the Void Temple, the mysterious weapon spirit became very interested and curious about her. The mysterious weapon spirit surrounded Chen Beiyuan, who was sleeping in front of him, and was amazed. His stunning face shrouded in the divine light of the void seemed to show a little regret. But she doesn't remember that the other party has been here before. Therefore, she pays special attention to it. More importantly, the other party seems to know the situation of the void secret realm very well. Who the hell are you? In an instant, he sat cross-legged on the spot, his eyes closed tightly, and his body relaxed, as if he had fallen asleep. Swish, a mere sixth grade war king, swallowing hundreds of marrow cleansing fruit at once, is not afraid of having his soul burst by the overbearing medicinal properties? Even if you have excellent talent and extraordinary origins, I am afraid you will have to sleep in the void secret realm for ten days, it takes eight years to be able to digest the effects of the medicine. Back then, the most my master could take at one time was fifty pills in a row. After that, it took a long time to gradually digest the effects of the medicine. This madman actually ate hundreds of marrow cleansing fruit at one time. Marrow cleansing fruit is different from ing show fruit is mild and mellow. Its medicinal effect is overbearing. Among the many divine fruits in the world, it is also a famous existence. The mysterious weapon spirit lowered its waist, and the two proud objects trembled slightly, and the divine light in the void caused ripples. She looked closely at Chen Beiyuan's sleeping face in front of her, and murmured to herself. A vague figure shrouded in the divine light of the void appeared silently in the tree hole, looking at him with complicated eyes, as if looking at a monster. He's quite handsome. He's so handsome at such a young age. I don't know how many girls he's going to bring trouble to in the future. Hum, I'm going to punish you by staying here with your sister for a while. If you don't say anything, you're just agreeing. Come, let sister check your body. I originally thought that you would be the king of the void this time, but now it seems that I will miss this opportunity, and I will have to stay here for a while, waiting for the next opening of the void temple before I can leave. This person's true strength is absolutely unfathomable. Even the mysterious weapon spirit cannot see his true identity. Among those who have opened the Void Trial in the past, Chen Beiyuan may not be the strongest, but his talent potential is definitely the most. Terrifying. Chapter 192, Part 1 Wow! An exclamation of unknown meaning resounded from the dark tree hole. Immediately, there seemed to be some kind of swallowing sound. The mysterious weapon spirit has not had contact with outsiders since its birth, and has always followed the master of the Void Temple. Until her master died unexpectedly, she took over the entire Void Temple by herself, waiting for the next master to appear. For hundreds of years, she has not had contact with other Void Walkers. She has only been hiding in the dark and observing, always in a state of emptiness and loneliness. Nowadays, a mysterious young man suddenly appeared that made her very interested and curious. Naturally, she also had thoughts and desires to find out, especially since the mysterious young man in front of her was still in a deep sleep at the moment, without the slightest resistance, and could be at his mercy which undoubtedly added a strange sense of taboo and excitement to her. A mysterious female spirit who has been lonely and empty for hundreds of years, and an 18-year-old boy who is in his youth and has fallen into a coma. They are alone in a room with no outsiders. Bai Ruawe and Zhang Yunhua, who were guarding outside, were not aware of the existence of the mysterious weapon spirit at all. They had no idea what was happening inside, let alone that the man they loved was being frivolously taken advantage of by a slutty weapon spirit at the moment. This scene is very much like a classic action movie from Sakura Country. Abyss of Sleep. I'm afraid even by Ruawei and Jiang Yunhua, the two lucky heroines, didn't expect that they would unintentionally play the role of mistresses. Gulu. The mysterious weapon spirit swallowed. His eyes trembled. A look of shock appeared on his face, as if he was in disbelief. His cheeks were flushed, and his tender eyes were about to bulge. What the hell is this 18? Isn't this fatal? Just when she was about to conduct an in-death examination, Chan Beiyuan, who had his eyes closed tightly, seemed to sense something, and his eyelids trembled slightly, as if he was about to wake up. A creepy sense of crisis instantly enveloped her body. Not good. The mysterious weapon Renako, who had a guilty conscience, trembled and was instantly frightened. He quickly ran away in panic and escaped. Swish. A divine light flashed in the void. The figure of the mysterious weapon spirit disappeared instantly. Until the mysterious weapon spirit ran away, Chan Beiyuan's slightly frowned brow slowly relaxed his slightly trembling eyelids instantly returned to calm, and he continued to appreciate the world brought by marrow cleansing fruit, Dao Rime. Deep in the soul, the little silly dragon holding the Aeyuan pillow was drooling with a silly smile on his face, and he was making a humming sound. He didn't know what kind of sweet dream he was having. A, Yuan good bad, outside the tree hole, by Ruawei and Jiang Yunhua, who were guarding the left and right sides, 
were completely unaware of what was happening inside. They were not aware at all that their home was almost robbed. Void Temple, Inner Temple. As a wave of void appeared, the panicked figure of the mysterious weapon spirit was instantly teleported out. It wasn't until he slipped back to his base camp that the mysterious weapon spirit's pounding big conscience eased. He couldn't help but patted it and breathed a sigh of relief. It's so scary. How does this little monster grow? He can actually ignore the overbearing medicinal effects of hundreds of marrow cleansing fruits and forcefully wake up. No, he is not small. Snapped, what are you thinking about? I have nothing to run away from. It's not like I've done anything big. Besides, that guy doesn't necessarily know what happened. At most, he just thinks it's an illusion. Himph, I am a majestic temple weapon spirit. I have never seen any big battles. The mysterious weapon spirit muttered to himself. Suddenly, after she calmed down, she felt like she was still holding something in her hand. When she took a closer look, it seemed to be a bitter tea seed. Um, it still has some body temperature, which is quite warm. It must have been taken off not long ago. Digging. Mysterious weapon spirit. The shocking battle in the 10,000 beasts forest almost K asterisk led nearly 90% of the great geniuses in the secret realm of the void. As a result, there are only a few big cats and kittens left in the entire void secret realm. Prodigy from various tribes are still hiding around. Although nearly all the participants in that war were K asterisk led. But there are still a few lucky ones who ran away. At the same time, thousands of miles away, there were several black eagle beasts watching the battle and the show from a distance. They almost witnessed the whole process. Since then, relevant details have gradually spread out. However, some of the lucky ones who escaped were obviously frightened to the point of losing their minds, and their words were somewhat confused. After word of mouth spread, everything began to become magical. The despicable Donghua people set up a trap to K asterisk L Lord Aoli, Lord Tina, Lord Blood and Bone, Demon, Demon, Chen Beiyuan is a murd asterisk rouse demon. I witnessed him eating Aoli one bite at a time, dismembering Tina, and eating the brains of blood and bones. Really, what I said is true. Chin Beiyuan has three heads, six hands, nine legs, and is covered in scales. His mouth is bigger than a mountain, and he can eat a mountain peak with one mouthful. The Donghua people are all demons. The Donghua people are all demons. They are all cold-blooded demons. They k asterisk LL people when they see them, chop down animals when they see them, and slaughter foreigners when they see them. One by one, almost ridiculous rumors began to spread in this void secret realm. In an instant, it caused quite a stir. Why are you talking about mythical legends? How could he not know what Shin Beiyuan looks like? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could top monsters like Ao Lai, the dragon of Wanlong Island, Tina the Night Elf, and the BLO asterisk DY torn blood bones die at the hands of Chen Beiyuan? Those guys must be crazy. Even a certain son of fortune named Lin Xiao was a little confused when he learned about these rumors. Aren't you talking nonsense? Is it afraid that it will die miserably? Many people think those guys who claim to have escaped are crazy. It has three heads, six arms and nine legs, and a mouth bigger than a mountain. It can swallow a mountain or a dragon in one bite. There are many others who have the same idea as Silver Wolf Prince Braga. Regardless of whether it's true or not, I won't believe it to death. Is this even a human being? Of course, some people are doubtful. After all, these rumors are too exaggerated. Silver Wolf Prince Braga, who has never lived a good life, was beaten everywhere and was known to be hiding every day. After hearing these rumors, his first reaction was not that he was crazy, but that the world was crazy. It has already had a grudge with Chen Beiyuan before. If it is true, what will happen? Chapter 193, Part 1 Damp and Smelly Cave Lin Xiao, who had just broken through the 6th Great Battle King and knew nothing about the major events happening in the outside world, looked confused and stunned. Obviously, he was also left speechless by some outrageous rumors from the outside world. Chin Beiyuan, how many people have you offended? So many people are making rumors about you. Lin Xiao was speechless. Before, he had deliberately spread rumors that Chin Beiyuan had an affair with a certain alien beast, gave birth to an illegitimate daughter, had affairs with many women, and had a lot of fun. The purpose is to separate Chin Beiyuan from Bai Ruawei, Zhang Yunhua, and other women. No matter whether it is successful or not, it is good to make Chin Beiyuan feel sick. Ming can't beat him. Can I mess with you secretly? At that time, he was a little complacent, thinking that his ability to spread rumors was already very powerful. Nowadays, it seems that the strongest has its own strong hand. The most I can do is make small moves. Some people outside are going crazy to create hatred for Chen Beiyuan. Almost all the monsters in the top 10 of the void ranking have been offended. You don't need a knife to K asterisk all people. The person who created these rumors is a master. 
As soon as these rumors spread, monsters like Ao Lai from Wallong Island, Night Elf Tina, BLO Asterisk DY Minotaur Bloodbones, will definitely go to Chen Beiyuan to settle accounts. When I think of Chen Beiyuan offending so many people at once, an excited expression appeared on Lin Zhao's face, and he felt as if he had taken the Shirkwan Dabudan, and his whole body was filled with relief. At this moment, he had never thought that the rumors spread by the outside world might be true. Those monsters he talks about may already be down there. After all, in his mind, although Chen Beiyuan was powerful, he was not so powerful that he could easily K asterisk LL hundreds or thousands of prodigy at the same level. You are here to write a cool article. Ha ha ha, Chen Beiyuan, you have today too. Lin Xiao, who had already succeeded in breaking through to the 6th grade battle king, was in a happy mood. After learning the good news, he couldn't help laughing and slowly walked out of the damp and smelly cave. As soon as he walked out of the cave, a strong smell of blood suddenly poured into his nose. Looking around, I saw a large tribe with mutilated towering corpses everywhere. No matter the adult towering or the towering cubs, they were not spared in the slightest. I saw that bull heads, large and small, with ferocious faces and extremely painful faces, were chopped off and piled together to form a huge jingguan, with rich blood spreading everywhere. After Lin Xiao fell into a deep sleep with Master Fairy, he began to look for a place of opportunity to break through to the 6th grade Battle King. And it just so happened that a large Tauran tribe lived in that land of opportunity. Originally, with Lin Zhao's temperament, after taking away the opportunity, he would just find a place to break through the 6th grade Battle King. But he doesn't know if it's because seeing this Tauran tribe brought back some bad memories for him. So, he quietly dripped his blood essence into the water source of this large Tauran tribe and poisoned it. That night, he carried a knife and K asterisk led all the Tauran in the entire Tauran tribe one by one, leaving no one alive. After slaughtering these Tauran, Lin Xiao felt refreshed and his whole soul was sublimated. So he stayed here to break through to the 6th grade war king. As expected, his breakthrough was very smooth. Lin Xiao sniffed the strong and foul smell of cow blood in the air. Not only did he not feel disgusted at all, but he actually showed an expression of enjoyment with a slightly sick smile on his face. After experiencing the dark prison, Lin Xiao seemed to have actively evolved into a pure love warrior. He hates all Tauran deeply and wishes to K asterisk L all Tauran in the world. However, when he looked at the void list that was starting to refresh in the sky, the sickly smile on his face suddenly stiffened, his pupils shrank and turned into needle shapes, and his whole person froze on the spot, instantly breaking his defenses. This is impossible. Not only Lin Xiao, but all the prodigy from all races who looked at the refreshed, void list, above the void secret realm at this moment screamed in disbelief and looked like they had seen a ghost. Void list. Record the number of void tokens held by void walkers, refreshed every 24 hours. First place. Chun Beiyuan, Human Race Donghua Empire, 2836, second place. By Ruawei, Human Race Donghua Empire, 469, third place. Jiang Yunhua, Human Race Donghua Empire, 459, fourth place. Tushan Su Su, Qingqiu Fox Clan Ferocious Beast, 439, fifth place. Jiang Yunfan, Human Race Donghua Empire, 413, sixth place. Crazy Zhu, Human Race Donghua Empire, 349, seventh place. Wei Wushuang, Human Race Donghua Empire, 318, 8th place. Li Mu, Human Race Donghua Empire, 299, 9th place. Qin. Xiaoxi, Human Race Donghua Empire, 259, 10th place. Yi Chun, Human Race Donghua Empire, 250. In an instant, all the prodigy of all races who were looking at the sky fell into deathly silence. All eyes are now focused on the top spot on the void list. First place. Chun Beiyuan, Human Race Donghua Empire, 2836. Chun Beiyuan really has three heads, six arms, and nine legs. He has a big mouth and can swallow mountains and eat dragons. He likes to K asterisk LL ferocious beasts and aliens. He can also control hundreds of women at night. As the void ranking was refreshed, the rest of the questioning prodigy tribes almost felt as if they had been slapped hard. The seeds of fear began to be quietly planted in the hearts of every great genius. Nine of the top ten in the entire void list are occupied by Donghua people. Fortunately, there is Tushan Su Su from the Qingqiu Fox Clan who still occupies the fourth position, which can be regarded as leaving a little face for the ferocious beast aliens. With the naked truth and the sharp knife appearing, the prodigy of all races almost regarded the Donghua people as flood beasts, fearing that they would encounter them and have their heads chopped off. The rumors are actually true. My darn thing. Chen Beiyuan actually K asterisk led most of the top 100 monsters on the void list. Wait a minute. Tushan Su Su, the saintess of the Fox Clan, seems to have always occupied the fourth position and has never moved. Damn it. You have to be careful in the future and avoid Donghua. 
Otherwise, something will happen easily. Especially the rumors about Chin Beiyuan are becoming more and more outrageous and tend to be demonized. This almost wiped out all the Void tokens in the hands of Prodigy from most of the various clans in this Void secret realm. Could it be that the rumors are true? Chun. Bei. Yuan. Chun. Bei. Yuan. What the hell kind of concept is this? More than 2,000 Void tokens. How much treasure is this damn thing worth? I'm afraid even the 8th grade divine weapon can be replaced. The rumors are actually true. More than 2,000 Void tokens? Chapter 194, Part 1 When one rumor is confirmed, the rest will be confirmed, one after another. The rumors about Chin Beiyuan are becoming more and more outrageous and bizarre. There are even a group of witnesses who have escaped from Chen Beiyuan. They describe the horror of Chen Beiyuan in vivid detail, and also describe how they escaped from him to increase their own value. In this atmosphere, the name Chen Beiyuan spreads like a nightmare in this void secret realm, taking deep root in the hearts of all prodigy races. Even the most ferocious beast prodigy began to have a deep fear and dread of a human being. The male beasts of the alien race were afraid of him like a tiger, trembling with fear, unwilling to fight him, for fear of being eaten. The female beasts of the alien race were afraid of him like a pervert, so scared that they couldn't close their legs, but at the same time they had some small expectations. It is said that the demon Chun was not picky about meat and vegetables, and liked to humiliate and abuse these female aliens and beasts the most. His methods were extremely rough and powerful, making people want to die. Outside the tree hole, when Bai Ruawe, who was always gentle as water, heard those messy rumors about Bei Yuan, her smile disappeared instantly, and she became expressionless. Her charming eyes glowed with coldness, and she wanted to strangle those scum who spread the rumors to death. My Bei Yuan is so cute, how could he be so bad? Although sometimes, Bei Yuan is a little disobedient, has some bad taste, is a little overbearing, has a little temper likes to ask people to kneel down to eat, likes to K asterisk all people, likes to twist people's heads, but in essence, he is still a good boy. Those damn, mean mouth, brainless beasts. Beasts. K asterisk all you all. K asterisk all you all. For Bai Ruawei, Chen Beiyuan is undoubtedly her reverse scale. Anything involving Chen Beiyuan will provoke her violent reaction. At this moment, she is like seeing the mother of her most beloved child, who has been raised by her since childhood being slandered by outsiders. She has the urge to K asterisk LL and has lost her previous calmness and gentleness. In a sense, Bai Ruawei's feelings for Bei Yuan are mixed with some maternal factors. To be honest, if she didn't have to protect Bei Yuan's safety, she could really run to K asterisk all people and K asterisk all, all the rumor mongers. At this moment, she was so angry that even the auspicious beast, Bai Zai, in her body, which was known as the most benevolent, did not dare to show up. Unlike Bai Ruawei's violent reaction, Jiang Yunhua's face showed some reverie and blushing, and she felt dry mouth and tongue. She couldn't help licking her hot red lips and swallowing her saliva. She seemed to recall some things before. Bei Yuan seemed to be quite rough and domineering when he treated her fire poison before. He was so bad, but she liked him so much. At this moment, Chen Bei Yuan, who was in the dark tree hole, didn't know that her image in the mouths of various great geniuses was becoming more and more outrageous, and even to the point of stopping a child's crying. It is also unknown how the two luck heroines reacted violently after learning about these rumors. At this point, even if he, the person involved, came out to clarify, I'm afraid no one would believe it. Because, at this point, no one cares about the so-called truth. Compared to the truth, they are more willing to believe their own judgment. What? You think those are all rumors? Chin Beiyuan is not that bad. Bullshit. I don't want your opinion. I want my opinion. Of course, with Chun Beiyuan's character, even if he knew these things, he would just laugh it off and would not have too much reaction. Sometimes, a bad reputation that is notorious is much better than a good reputation that is known to everyone. Most people in the world fear evil rather than good. As time goes by, the power of rules contained in Marrow Cleansing Fruit is gradually absorbed by Chan Beiyuan. His soul and body gradually began to undergo subtle changes, transforming bit by bit. The already terrifying talent and understanding seemed to have undergone a qualitative change and began to undergo a transformation. The human race bloodline and dragon race bloodline in the body gradually boiled, strengthened little by little, and experienced strange changes, and actually began to merge together. Boom, boom, boom. The slow heartbeat suddenly resounded, echoing continuously in the dark tree hole. It seemed extraordinarily thick, primitive, and wild, as if it had some special charm. His body gradually revealed some dragon characteristics, thick scales, strong dragon claws, and ferocious dragon horns as if he had transformed into a living dragon. 
But the strange thing is that his head is still the same as before. Human head and dragon body. Along with the heartbeat, a bottomless huge crack suddenly appeared in the sky above the void secret realm. Its terrifying vision instantly covered the void list, causing countless people to exclaim, What's going on? Why did the sky split open? There is a vision coming from the sky. Could it be that another divine object is coming? Trenching, is it real or fake? Such a terrifying vision naturally attracted the attention of countless people, but no one found any trace of the divine object. It's such a familiar vision. Why does it feel like I've seen it somewhere before? Jiang Yunfan looked at the huge, bottomless crack in the sky. His brows suddenly furrowed, and there was a little suspicion on his face. Suddenly, his eyes suddenly paused, as if he thought of something. When Chen Beiyuan was born, it's that big monster. The mysterious weapon spirit of the Void Temple also noticed something strange at this moment, but after discovering the source of the strange phenomenon, he subconsciously tightened the slightly moist bitter tea seeds in his hands, feeling a little guilty and not daring to go over and peep. Beiyuan, by Ruawei and Jiang Yunhua, who were guarding outside the tree hole, looked at the tree hole behind them with astonished faces, the heartbeats that kept ringing, and the huge cracks in the sky, as if they were a little unbelievable. Gradually, the heartbeat that kept echoing in the dark tree cave gradually calmed down, and it seemed that it was at the last moment. The violent heartbeat that echoed in the dark cave suddenly dissipated. The strange vision on Chan Beiyuan's body suddenly dissipated, and his aura suddenly began to become violently restless, as if the calm sea suddenly stirred up turbulent waves, sweeping madly in all directions. The cultivation level, which was supposed to be the beginning of the Sixth Grade War King, began to improve explosively with overwhelming momentum. Sixth Grade Battle King Intermediate Level Sixth Grade Battle King High Level The peak of the Sixth Grade Battle King In an instant, he broke through three realms in a row and reached the Top Chapter 195, Part 1 Boom! It was accompanied by a silent loud noise that resounded deep in the soul. Chin Beiyuan seemed to transform into an abyss black hole, erupting with terrifying devouring power frantically absorbing the spirit chi of the world. Its terrifying suction force instantly pulled the spirit chi from hundreds of miles around, forming a huge, spiritual storm directly above the 10,000 beast forest, sweeping away in all directions. Its rich spirit actually condensed into substance, revealing dazzling colorful light, shining in all directions. Such a terrifying vision is even more terrifying and frightening than when the two towering sacred trees appeared before. In an instant, it attracted a pair of looks of astonishment and fright. Boom. A terrifying coercion that was like a god or a demon, suppressing all things in the world, suddenly erupted from the depths of the beast forest and swept crazily in all directions. Countless creatures instantly felt fear from the bottom of their hearts, as if they had seen the supreme existence and couldn't help but kneel down and surrender. Temple of the Void. What a scary talent, even scarier than his previous master. I'm afraid he also has the qualifications of a ninth grade god of war. The slightly blurred eyes of the mysterious weapon spirit suddenly turned cold, and the void divine light on his body gradually dissipated. He stared at the domineering figure exuding terror in the secret realm, with a trace of unknown meaning on his face. Mood. You are so handsome, so cute, and so big. My sister is really attracted to you, but your cultivation is too weak, and you are far from meeting the trial standard left by the master. Void there is not much energy left in the temple, and I don't have much time. Little brother. It would be nice if you were at a higher level. The peak of the War King. Outside the forest of 10,000 beasts, Jiang Yunfan, who hurried over, looked at the terrifying vision in front of him and the terrifying pressure that was rising crazily, and his face instantly became cloudy and uncertain. As early as when a huge crack appeared in the sky above the void secret realm, he had a vague feeling that it might be related to Chen Beiyuan, so he rushed towards it. I didn't expect to see such a shocking scene. The 18 year old sixth grade champion at his peak. What is this concept? This can no longer be described as a monster. This is simply a monster. What's even worse is that this monster was only a junior fourth grade general a few months ago. In just a few months, he broke through two levels in a row and reached the eleventh level. I saw him standing outside the forest of ten thousand beasts, with a calm face and twinkling eyes, as if he was hesitating about something. Seeing the strange phenomenon reappearing deep in the ten thousand beasts forest, it naturally attracted figures to come quickly. However, Due to the previous BLO asterisk DY lessons and Chun Beiyuan's evil reputation, no one went indirectly. They only dared to peek from a distance, hoping to see if they could get some benefits. Seeing that Chun Beiyuan began to make breakthroughs one after another, causing such a huge phenomenon and attracting so many people, Jiang Yunhua and Bai Ruwei were shocked, but their faces became serious, 
and they stood guard outside the tree hole, with vigilant expressions on their faces, for fear that something might happen. People with evil intentions interfere. However, to the surprise of the two women, when the approaching figures noticed the source of the familiar aura that revealed the vision, their expressions suddenly changed, and they turned around and ran away without hesitation, as if they had seen a ghost. Appearance. It's that devil Chen Beiyuan. Damn it. It's another trap set by that devil. Run away. I heard before that this evil demon used two towering sacred trees as baits to deliberately lure a group of prodigy over and K asterisk lull them one by one. Now he's doing it again. It's impossible for the same trick to work a second time. Do you really think I'm one of those dead idiots? I'm one of the smart ones. Slip away. Slip away. By Ruawei and Jiang Yunhua, the two lucky heroines looked in astonishment at the sight of the headless flies scurrying around in front of them and the conversations in their mouths, and they were unable to react for a while. What a mess. Why do I feel like the rumors are getting more and more outrageous? Ding. Congratulations to the host for breaking through the shackles of the original work and achieving a qualitative transformation. He has initially entered the threshold of Saint Rank and received a special reward. Chi Yu's demonic blood. Chi Yu demon blood. This drop of demon blood originating from the ancient demon god Chi Yu contains part of his undying and indestructible power, which can resurrect the dead and reshape the body. Swish. Chen Beiyuan's eyelids trembled and he suddenly opened his eyes, blooming with a strange light. The terrifying pressure on his body suddenly dissipated, and he returned to calm. Saint Rank? Is it the realm after Ninth Grade God of War? Chen Beiyuan ignored the Chi Yu demonic blood in the system space and silently felt the earth-shaking changes in his body. A trace of surprise gradually appeared on his face, and he murmured to himself, After Ninth Grade God of War, there is still a realm, the so-called Saint Rank? Now he has advanced from the qualifications of God of War to the qualifications of Saint Rank, Chen Beiyuan can clearly feel that when his qualifications and understanding were upgraded to Saint Rank, he had a deeper understanding of his own combat system and divine ability, and his overall combat power had a terrifying improvement. Swish! Chen Beiyuan activated the Blood Dragon transformation, and his right hand instantly turned into a thick and powerful Scarlet Dragon Claw. Unlike before, which was just covered with a layer of dragon scales, the internal structure still belonged to humans. With this change, the entire arm has almost become the same muscle structure as Dragon Race, and its strength is at least several times stronger than before. Before, my combat system was too rough, and my control of power was still not in place. As a result, I often wasted too much energy and did not fully exert the true power of Blood Dragon Transformation. The application of this divine ability is too rough. You can avoid some damage through Force Dissipation, Holding Curse. Chun Beiyuan closed his eyes, mesmerized by the earth-shaking changes in his body. After his qualifications and understanding reached Saint Rank, he realized that his previously perfect K asterisk Ling move was so immature and ridiculous, he can definitely do better. If he had had this kind of ability before, he could have almost wiped out all the prodigy of all races without any damage, instead of almost exhausting himself. Suddenly, just when Chen Beiyuan was immersed in his own world, suddenly, a chill appeared from his crotch, interrupting his thoughts and bringing him back to reality instantly. When young Master Chun looked down with a puzzled look on his face, he happened to see the aggrieved little Beiyuan, straightening his back and holding his head high, unwilling to lower his head even if he was blown by the cold wind. Where has my Kachatsi gone? Cabin has been stuck for a day, and I feel so stuck that I feel like I'm going to hit a wall. Next, we need to speed up the pace of the plot. Thanks for watching. You can find the next videos in the playlist linked in the info card or directly on my channel. If you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it, feel free to drop a comment.